Today's tip is about a pair of keyboard shortcuts that I recently learned. Control in the left bracket will move you to precedent cells. Control in the right brackets will move you to dependent cells. To uh, give a quick example of that, I'll just put a few numbers in some cells and then we'll put a total below that. So now if I start out in the total cell and I do control left bracket, it jumps me to all the precedent cells. If I start out in any of the precedent cells and do control right bracket, it moves me to the dependent cells. These shortcuts are very similar to features found on the formula tab of the ribbon. Here if you're on a cell with a formula in it, you can use trace precedence to see which cells your formula is pointing to, and you can even double click on the arrow to move back and forth between them. Or you can use trace dependence to find out which formulas use the cell that you're in. And again, you can use that arrow. But it's always nice to be able to have keyboard shortcuts so you can do things quickly and not have to hunt around on the ribbon trying to find something. Now a couple other scenarios. If you have two formulas that point to the same cell, when you start from the formula, move to precedent is going to work the same way. But when you say move to dependent, it will actually highlight both formulas. So that way you can use um, move to dependent to find out which formulas will be affected if you want to change or edit the contents of a cell. One other possible use I could see for this feature would be navigating a large spreadsheet. If you have a dependent and precedent with a one-to-one -one relationship, you can just jump back and forth between them with the two shortcuts. So I can see cases where you'd be able to use that to uh, to make quick ways to jump from place to place on a on a spreadsheet, kind of like the secret passageway in the board game Clue. So keyboard shortcuts are always a great way to speed up your work, so there's two more that I hope you can put to good use.